at the airport again, about to leave the UK and head over to Amsterdam. Let's see what's going on over there. And welcome to Amsterdam. Look at this, this is nice. Welcome, Dean. <laughs> Here's some free crap. What have we got? got a Kit Kat. What's that? That's a stroop waffle. Some. Um, I assume that's water. And what have we got here? Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll tuck into that later. Beautiful. And out here, I mean, it's not the greatest view, but still. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think so. That's, that's, I, I like that. That's good. It's a nice room as well. Look at this. Beautiful. Lovely and spacious. Here's the bog. I'll be taking many, many mirror photos. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what we call a backstage bog shot. <laughs> this is the good stuff. What have we got here? We've got body wash. <laughs> Shampoo. And um, just the same, what's that? Oh, vegetable soap. What does that mean? What's vegetable soap? Is that good for the environment? Instead of palm oil. Instead of palm oil, so we saved the monkeys. Look at that, that's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it's nice in here. Our first night in Amsterdam, and it is so picturesque. I think I said that about what, where, where were we? Prague. I think I said that about Prague. But so is this place, and I've said it about everywhere because everywhere is just beautiful. So, so <laughs> everywhere apart from the UK is absolutely stunning. Bike, bike, bike. Biker, 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 gotta get run over by a van. What's become apparent here is they love a tiny car. I mean, look, that's two in one space there. And obviously, electric car. But then on the other side of it, we've got a great thud of a G Wagon. Six, what is it? 6.3 litre. I mean,. Not everyone can drive electric. <laughs> Look at all these people waiting to go into what is, I don't believe, is Anne Frank's house because I don't think Anne's house would have had a nice little cafe on the first floor and nor would I would assume that it would have revolving doors. So this definitely isn't it, but I believe the real house, just crossing the road here, is just over here where there is a plaque somewhere over there on one of the doors but I believe this here is the actual house so what they've done by the looks of it is they've built a building onto here and they've basically made this um, they've almost like preserved it in a way where uh, they could keep access to the house but also make money hmm I mean do we think that's right is that right to do so I don't know what are your thoughts? Comment down below. Just got some lunch in the rain. So these are getting soggy now. From that, uh, what's it called? That is it a TikTok sensation one. Apparently it's called Fable Freaks and it's TikTok famous. So that's why we came here. And uh, 
obviously the chips absolutely beautiful but if you stand outside you will get a bollocking for standing there for too long so make sure you shift along even though they don't have seats i mean that's very inconsiderate got myself an umbrella also a memento from being in lovely amsterdam whilst it's pissing with rain <laughs> <laughs> But of course, to never be ungrateful, because obviously we're still away, we're having a good time. It's just piffling with rain. The home of Heineken. I mean, I'm not a big fan, so we won't be going to the, doing the tour of the Heineken factory. But it's something to do if you want to do it, so feel free to. Amsterdam. I mean, I'm not a big fan of beer. Is it beer or lager? See, that's how much I don't know about Heineken. But if you want to come here to see the Heineken factory, it does actually look all right from the outside. So uh, go check it out. Ducks. I've got a big duck in my shop. Amy's not too happy, she almost just got whacked in the head by someone's umbrella trying to point to something over there. Oh, I smacked her out! Jesus Christ! I mean, there's no awareness in some of these people. What in the hell is going on here? Look at all the chickens. and it's basically well we're gonna go inside and we can check out what's inside but uh, it's, it's pretty gruesome and it's not for the faint-hearted so we're in the lift and we've got to start at the sixth floor Look at them all. Apparently there's over 881,000 bikes here in Amsterdam. Well, I mean that's crazy to think isn't it? And over, well that was statistics according to 2021 and they reckon that over 6,000 get dredged from the rivers. Look at where we are, we've just stumbled across one of the oldest stock exchanges in the world. It was apparently made in 1602, but I can do more on that in another video. So watch out for that one on the channel coming soon. And I've got a nice story in mind actually. It's just popped to mind. Make sure you check back to the channel because you'll catch one of the stock exchange. Oh, how exciting. Just thought of it in real time. That you that was very rare. You got to see me thinking in real time. Anyway, on with Amsterdam. Bus wankers! No, not around here. They like bikes, actually. And trams. So that doesn't work. Actually, I've just realised that I have American viewers and, and people in Australia and all sorts that watch my channel. So I don't know if you get that reference, but it's a, a programme in the UK called The Inbetweeners. And uh, it, it was probably one of the UK's top comedy programmes probably ever made. Like the most recent. Actually, how old is it? got to be over what 10 years old maybe 10 15 years old now god time's gone so fast this this is our ride we're going on this one be different wouldn't it orange though not really not really my color Oof. Look what we've just spotted. The English bookshop. 
I won't go in. <laughs> but also, look at these. It's just across the way from them. The strip waffles. They look good. I caved. We're in here. <laughs> Didn't take much. I love the idea of this. You pick which one that you want, but you don't know what it is. It's brilliant. You see, this is what we want to see. So we're in the the, the cheese shop in uh, in Amsterdam. But on the back here, if we look at the ingredients. 100% honey. That that is proper honey. You know that is real. Cheese. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> And it was all yellow. Look at them all. Why are they all yellow? Yellow by Coldplay. So many of these people cycling about but with no hands. Like, how are they doing that? I'd definitely fall off if I did that. Do you know what? Watching all of these bikes, I've just had an epiphany. I haven't seen one bike shop around here. I've seen bike hire, but not a bike shop. Where do they get them from? Amazon? eBay? Hmm. Any guesses before I show you who this is? Three, two, one. He's got a bird on his head. It's Rembrandt. And a fun fact is that actually he's buried here in Amsterdam, not too far from this location. So that's a fun fact. Has that helped anyone? If you got anything from that, like and subscribe. Wow, that's properly done as well. It looks real. Someone comment down below to if you know what this thing is here. You have five seconds. Four, three, two. Well, I'll tell you, that is a public toilet. You pee on a brick and then it goes down into a drain. I mean, it's not very nice and it absolutely stinks. About to go in the Van Gogh Museum and see what uh, this entails. Probably some flowers and houses and, and chairs and all of that sort of thing. What do we reckon? I think that's definitely going to be a strong case of it. I really fancied a milkshake so well it's because it's late now not a lot of places are open to get one but look McDonald's here in Amsterdam do a coconut milkshake I mean what will they ever come up with next all I'm saying is that they have to bring this to the UK and if they don't McDonald's UK what are you doing so when crossing the road it does get difficult here in Amsterdam so I'll just give you a little a little rundown of what things are so what we're currently on is a pavement then we have a drop curb so this is technically the road then we see this dotted line here which technically means a cycle path where there are bikes now coming so you quickly cross this and you're back on a pavement but in some cases you'll find a pavement between the cycle path and the road hello someone's in town Ferrari. As it's our last day here, I thought it'd be interesting to do something a little different, so check this out. What are they doing up there? <laughs> look out, 360 Amsterdam sensation swing, and look out, because there's lots of bikes and things in the way. Look at this view. Amazing, 
cosmic panoramic view. So here we've got the swings. These swing out over the actual building itself. Um, I mean, I've done skydives, I've done bungee jumps, but this isn't in my hands really. This is this is totally out of my hands and, and hanging over a building. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal. That's not a normal feeling. Well, these guys have done it, so someone's brave. <laughs> oh, it's ever so windy up here. Oh. This is how we know that we're right on the top of the building. Jesus. Ultra panoramic views up here, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think it was on the other side, but you've got the Amsterdam train station there. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting because it's got writing on top. And that's how you know you're in Amsterdam, so. Oh, and these things. Let's look into it, shall we? Let's see if we can see anything. I was just using one of these to look at a dog, so that it caught the ball four times. A weird fact about this ground here that this building was built on. So we've got a uh, little history board here. In the 18th century, they used to hang up dead criminals here on this land. So that's just so you know that you don't break the law. So I've just filmed some new content here uh, with the Amsterdam sign in the background uh, of Carl Pilkington and I'll be adding that in a totally separate video and you can see that on the channel very very soon so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that one. But anyway we are off to find what is it Tony's chocolate shop so let's see if we can go find it. Well, we made it. Crack Tony's. Oh, Tony, you spoil us. Look at all of this. Well, that is Tony's chocolate shop done with, and there's a little hole in the wall, so, so make sure you consult your map if you're looking for it. It's quite hard to find, especially with all these people here. God, how inconsiderate. Get out of my way. Here is a classic cheese shop. Apparently, Holland is the fifth largest producer. Is it in the world? in the world of cheese so there we are we seem to be in one of the coolest bookshops check this out hello look what we spotted make sure that you go check out the full review over on the channel i'll put it linked in the description and i've got that one coming soon and many more of these actually and this one make sure you check that one out it's in the description oh my goodness i think i've fallen into heaven here look at all of these amazing a book haven look at it it's crazy this is the biggest bookshop i think i've ever been in this is the third floor For any keen viewers, you will know about this one right here. Ashley Vance did actually get in touch with me, if you remember. And he told me how I was wrong for reading a child's version of it. But I will link that also in the description so you can check that one out. Right, well, we're about to head back to the hotel to pick up our luggage and then go home. So I'm going to say thanks very much for watching. If you've got anything from this, like and subscribe down below. And make sure that you stay tuned for more of my days out and trips away and all that sort of thing coming to the channel very, very soon. So hopefully see you there. Thanks for watching.